Definitely a good segue doing your own meat shop. You know Filipinos love their pandas house. You know that already. You know it. Will it ever get saturated? I don't know. Hey everyone, this is Gil Vergara. Thank you for watching again. Thank you for coming to the show, to the channel. Uh, please throw me that like. Comment down below with anything I can help you with. I'm trying to build this channel out. I'm trying to, to get to the point where I can do this full time pretty much. So I'm really, I'm really trying my best to work as hard as I can, giving you these videos and things like that. So now I'm going to uh, do a quick video. This is gonna be super quick because there's not too many businesses on this list. This is gonna be a very small list, but I'm gonna give you what I believe those businesses that you can do within that budget and my thoughts on it pretty much. If you have any more business that you think you can do within that budget in that 100,000 to 300,000 peso range, comment down below. I'll look into it and give you my thoughts on it. Number one, bakery. You know Filipinos love their pande house. You know that already. You know it. And Dumaguete, Shirogi's nuts. But from my knowledge, because of the equipment and things like that, uh, not including the rent and things like that, minimum 120,000 pesos, minimum. We actually have a oven in the, in the building we never used it, you know, my dad thought he would be baking, but never happened. Minimum, 120,000 pesos uh, to start a bakery business. Obviously, location is everything when it comes to that, because you want that, that foot traffic, that driving traffic, for especially that morning rush. That's what you want, pretty much. Uh, but definitely something to ponder if uh, the circumstances are right for you. Next one is a meat shop. I mentioned this before. I'm going to say... Um, initial stock, initial capital, maybe 120,000, 150,000 pesos of a mixture of beef, uh, chicken, uh, pork, and things like that. And if you have a piggery or you have these animals at, the, um, at, at your home and that you can slaughter, if you have enough, definitely a good segue doing your own meat shop. Or if you have a good connection with other breeders, other growers in the area, definitely a good connect. But definitely speaking, minimum 120, 150,000 or more to start that business, a meat shop business. Next one is PesoNet. If you can get your hands on a five unit system, the kids who love Dota, uh, uh, I don't know what are the games the kids are playing now. PesoNets are always, always a good thing, especially if you, if it's by, not too close to a school because I think it's illegal still, but not too far. Kids who don't get internet for researching and things like that have access to it and use it. In its name, you are making pesos, but you're doing it in mass. I'm gonna say I've seen units for like a three unit system for like sixty thousand. I've seen some for one hundred twenty five thousand. Now, if you're at the house and things like that. It might work in your favor if you are in like the, the provincial type areas because if you do hook up like a long system there for a, for an antenna to get line of sight, uh, you know, coverage and stuff like that, it might pan out for you, it might do well for you. But minimum 120,000, 150,000, maybe even 175,000 to start that business. I could be wrong, but if you want to go decent, not the cheap stuff, you know, not, not bare minimum, just to put it up and stuff like that. That's one thing I have about Filipinos like, Oh, just, just enough. Just, I just want to put just enough just to get the thing going. No, I want to get the best of what my money at that point in time can get. I would buy the best of the best of what I, what my money can buy. You know what I'm saying? Concerning um, CPUs, video card graphics, whatever, and things like that. Next one is laundry shop. Minimum like 250,000 or more. Maybe even more. Maybe close to a million pesos depending on if you have a, if you have a legit one. If you have the ones that are like... Um, double stacked, uh, efficient, things like that. My brother Nathan did a feasibility study on a guy, and he put up like five million for it right now, you know what I'm saying? It was huge and he had a really good location. And it, it grew very good for him because of the location. A lot of that is location as well for a laundry service because don't be putting a laundry service in the middle of the province when not enough people are gonna be purchasing the, the, uh, the, the service if they can't afford it, you know what I'm saying? Obviously, that's, that's, that should be logic. Uh, you know, it's it all depends on your setup, but generally speaking, you can do something in a smaller scale, 250,000, and you can grow it from there. Next one is uh, the rotisserie chicken. Now, everybody loves eating in the Philippines. Everybody loves the chicken. Uh, chooks to go, uh, liempo. Pretty much, there's a lot of things you can do with rotisserie. Uh, I even try. I, I even wandered into 
that territory of wanting to do it. But at that point in time, I wasn't really financially ready to make that commitment. You can invest into it with 250,000 pesos up to like maybe 450 from what I've seen, 500,000 pesos. That might come with the machine, the motor, the actual buying of the freezers, the chickens itself, and things like that. The the, the herbs, the spices to um, to uh, to season the chicken and things like that. So definitely, that's something for you guys to consider. So that is it for my businesses between that hundred thousand peso, the three hundred thousand peso range. There's probably more that you can do. Comment down below so I, I can do my own little research on it because, hey, it might tickle my brain. I might want to do it one day. I don't know. Thank you for watching the video. I know it was a very short video, but I just wanted to go through the types of businesses that can readily be done by you guys and pretty much like simple to, to obtain and attain there in the Philippines. So especially the laundry thing. The laundry thing is booming right now. I see so many laundry things popping up, but will it ever get saturated? I don't know. I just don't know. Maybe, maybe not. I don't know. But um, give me a thumbs up. I really appreciate it. Comment down below. I really appreciate that even more. And uh, once again, this is Gilson Regeer. I'll see you guys next time. Bye. Man, I'm almost through with this list, man. I, I, I intended to make six of these videos. I'm a bit tired, though, honestly, to be honest with you. Oh, just sit back and relax for a little bit, man. Wow. But definitely, thank you for watching the channel. But minimum 100, minimum 100. I like, uh, that can be, that can be readily, that can readily, that can readily be done.